uh, I would like to talk a little bit about Slackware Linux and yeah later on I would like to install make a basic install of uh, Slackware in VM so you guys can see it so why Slackware Linux uh, I got this question so I can say that it's a very stable very reliable and actively maintained distribution so if you are looking for something really stable and reliable you can go on uh, with uh, Slackware I mean uh, if you like to have the bleeding edge then you can go to Arch and also you can go to Fedora and some other uh, Linux versions but this one is the one that you should choose if you want to have something stable and reliable it's also suitable as a server or as a workstation you can use it at home for your uh, own purposes it serves everything actually it offers many desktop environments the default one is KDE but you can install many desktop environments and you can switch very easily I'm gonna make a KDE install but you can choose any installation of the desktop environments if you like to and this is one of the oldest Linux distros so it's very uh, stable and it works perfectly on older hardware so if you have an older desktop or laptop you can try installing slackware on it and it is one of the one of the most unix like operating systems it has some um, properties similar to uh, bsd freebsd so this used to be something important in the old days i think nowadays it's a little bit uh, not that much related but uh, slackware doesn't try to be like windows or it doesn't try to imitate windows it just tries to be unix like and that's it <laughs> and it is based on the idea of kiss maybe you heard about it keep it simple stupid so this means that everything all the configuration installation should be as simple uh, as possible and yeah even if it sounds stupid uh, it is in this way it is one of the yeah, best Linux, Linux desktop environments there that you can use to learn the ins and outs of Linux so yeah if you don't want to read any documentation or make any configuration if you have if you want to have everything ready then don't go for Linux don't go for Slackware just go for Windows or some other Linux distributions but if you want to make some progress on your Linux skills then this is a perfect distribution for you and it is also yeah uh, intended for advanced Linux users so if you are just starting out don't go with Slackware I mean you can try of course and uh, I mean I, I think many people are going to be able to install it uh, but to yeah, make the changes and the configurations as you wish is gonna be a little bit more challenging if you don't have some skills in Linux.